At Chapel Hill Chauncey Hall, the arts are an important part of the program. Students' exposure to both theater and visual arts expands their creativity. The arts are integral into everything that we do, particularly thinking about what are the skills that we want our kids to be strong at in the future. It's going to be creativity and imagination. We have students coming back to us all the time who are working in creative outlets because of that initial exposure to the arts here. It means a lot to me. I think we take the arts very seriously. It allows you to take yourself away from reality for a second to really connect with yourself and other people who are involved. When I'm on stage, I feel like it's the place that I'm supposed to be. It's so much fun. There seems to be a spirit here at CHCH where they're already exploring creative thinking and now to see that we're actually committing to building a facility that's going to support that properly is amazing. The arts program here at Chapel Hill Chauncey Hall is fantastic but there's no question that the physical space it's been operating in is a little run down and you want a physical space that reflects the quality of the program. So we are going to be expanding and creating a gallery um, atrium space that's really dynamic and, and light and airy and a great way to showcase student work. But at the same time we're actually expanding the square footage of the facility by 9,000 square feet. With the new barn we're going to be able to have a bigger theater space, more theater classes, more art classes, more ceramics classes, photography. For our alums it's really great that we're keeping the structure of that building so that they're going to recognize it. They're going to know that this is the place where they found their creativity. It is creating a space that will make it possible for our faculty to draw out every single piece that that student has within them to make their learning experience worthwhile. When I play, I kind of get lost in the music, so I don't think about anything else. It's the most supportive environment to be able to really begin exploring what music means to you. I love music, but I also like art, so it's a good mix for me. I usually do sound for the musical. I've really found an amazing group of friends at the theater department who I can really like confide in, and I know I can go to them with anything. I run out of the booth and I hug all the crew members and people on stage, and I was like, yes, we did it. Theater has really helped me come out of my shell and it really allowed me to learn who I am as a person. With a new space, we have flexibility. We can have theater in the round. We can have all of these uh, new pieces of technology that will allow our space to feel new and fresh and different every time. To get to play in a, in a fully realized space, purpose-built to be a theater, to hang the lights, to focus the lights, to get up there with a wrench. I can't wait. I'm really excited by the idea that the gallery is going to attract more art students. At Chapel Hill, I really feel free to be who I am as an artist and express everything that I want to do. And I think that a lot of other students find that freedom here. Right now in my level two class, they're reading their first book in Spanish and um, in a couple weeks they're going to be acting out this dramatic scene. So I think it would be really cool to bring them to an actual theater where they can really get into their character and just really go all out. It is not just an artistic space, it is not just a theater space, but it is how do we take these concepts of teaching and learning and cross-collaborate. This is about giving these students, whether they are artistically inclined or not, the facility to build their confidence and to get ready for what's next in the world and it's our job to support that. The barn will still be the barn, it's just going to be a new, exciting, reimagined space and it is a bridge between all the students that have come before and the students of the future.